Hi, this is Salal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will discuss about the consumer surplus and producer surplus, obviously, and their mathematical derivations. Now, consumer surplus, as we know, is the difference between the prices that the consumers are willing to pay and the prices that, the, that they actually pay. The difference between those two prices gives us the consumer surplus. Now, if I have a demand function P is equal to F of Q, this is a demand function which I have depicted here. This uh, line, uh, this uh, square line represents the demand function. Now, this demand function represents the different prices that consumers are willing to pay for different quantities of good. Here, this is the quantity axis and this is the price axis. Now, if equilibrium if equilibrium occurs at a point let us say this is the equilibrium point if equilibrium uh, occurs at this point via this is the equilibrium price and this represents the equilibrium quantity now if equilibrium occurs at p dash and q dash then the consumers who are willing to pay more than equilibrium price will benefit obviously they will benefit because they will pay only the equilibrium price but they were willing to pay more than equilibrium price now this region which is above the equilibrium price and below this demand curve represents the consumer surplus that is this region this region uh, this region represents the consumers surplus now mathematically this means consumers surplus is equal to that is equal to the definite integral from zero zero to equilibrium quantity that is we let us say this is zero here we integrate from zero to uh, zero to equilibrium quantity and we integrate this demand function, this demand function, that is f of, that is f of q with respect to quantity, obviously, as we have seen in the integral video. And we subtract from it, we subtract from it this p dash into q dash that means that total expenditure is p dash q dash that the consumers are uh, this uh, p dash and q dash means the total expenditure of the consumers now this means graphically this means if i plot if i plot this region on graph uh, here this region means the prices that the consumers are willing to pay and this region represents the prices that they actually pay that is the equilibrium price here now graphically this means this uh, region means or this definite integral means the area under the demand curve up to equilibrium quantity that is if i depict this on the graph if i take this out uh, let us say we have here we have here the consumer surplus let us use the proper for the sake of understanding this is q dash and here it is e and this is p dash now this integral now this definite integral means this whole graph the area under this uh, the uh, area of this whole figure and from this we subtract the total expenditure now the total expenditure is this uh, uh, rectangular area that is i will subtract from this uh, this this is p dash and this is q dash here it is zero to q now this is the whole area and from this whole area i subtract this rectangular shaped area and what i get here i get this triangular shaped area that is 
this region. So this region represents the consumer's surplus here. So this is very easy to understand. Uh, the area under the demand curve up to Q dash and we subtract from this this area we subtract uh, this region that is the total expenditure and what we get this rectangular uh, sorry this triangular region this gives us the consumer surplus so this is the consumers this represents consumers surplus so i hope i made myself clear now we will see the producer surplus now we will discuss about the producer surplus now the producer surplus as we know is the difference between the price producers are willing and able to supply a good for and the price they actually receive the difference between those two prices gives us the producers producer surplus now if i have a uh, supply function that is p is equal to f of q this is a supply function now this supply function represents this supply function represents prices at which different quantities at which different quantities of good will be supplied so this supply function represents the prices at which different quantities of good will be supplied in the market obviously now let us assume that equilibrium occurs at this point let us um, color this by another marker here so this is the equilibrium quantity here q dash and this is the equilibrium price so if equilibrium prior equilibrium occurs at p dash and q dash then the suppliers who are willing to supply at lower price than this p dash then this equilibrium price will obviously benefit all those suppliers or all those producers who are willing to supply at a lower price than this equilibrium price will obviously benefit here so this region this region this region will be the producer surplus because all this uh, this region is below the equilibrium price and above the supply curve so this region will represent the producer surplus i repeat here all those producers who are willing to uh, supply at a lower price than the p dash will benefit so this region represents the prices that are lower than the equilibrium price that is p dash so this region represents the producer surplus naturally this is the benefit to the producers to those producers now mathematically this means mathematically mathematically producer surplus or i will write here ps is given as that is given as p dash p dash into q dash that is the total revenue or this p dash represents the equilibrium price that this p dash represents the equilibrium price that the producers actually receive and this quantity q dash is the quantity now p dash into q dash is also total revenue minus the definite integral from 0 to q dash so the definite integral from 0 to q dash f of f of q dq now this is very simple to understand from the graph this p dash into q dash this p dash into q dash represents this whole rectangle so if i depict here this represents like this if let us use the proper colors here now this is q dash here this is p dash here now 
now this p dash into q dash minus p dash into q dash minus the area of this whole rectangle. So this is p dash into q dash minus we subtract from this from it uh, that is uh, 0 to q dash that is we integrate from 0 to q dash we integrate from 0 to q dash this supply function that is this represents this region or this term represents this area this area because this is area under a curve from 0 to q dash so Let us use the proper sign here also. Proper colors. Here it is the red one. Now if it is 0 and here it is Q dash. Now we subtract uh, this is the total revenue here or this region from this region we, uh, we subtract this region and what we get we get this triangular looking uh, that is so this region represents the producers producer surplus producers surplus so i will repeat again producer surplus as we know is the difference between the prices producers are willing and able to supply a good for and the prices that they actually receive the difference between those two prices represent the producer surplus since this is the equilibrium price okay every producer who is willing to supply at a lower price then this p dash that is equilibrium price will naturally benefit so if this was our supply function okay and we assume that equilibrium occurs at this point that is uh, this at uh, this p dash and q dash okay all those producers who are willing to supply at below the equilibrium price will benefit now mathematically this means producer surplus is equal to p dash into q dash this p dash times q dash so area of this rectangle minus the definite integral from 0 to q dash 0 to q dash of this supply function f of q dq so graphically this means this region this region whole region minus this region and what is left here this region so this is the producers this is the producer's surplus. Now, in the subsequent videos, we will solve the numericals on how to find the producer's surplus and consumer's surplus uh, from the given demand function or supply function. Now, one thing I want to add here, the total surplus will be then, if I rub this out, Now, if this is the equilibrium price, sorry, this is a graph, this is the quantity axis and this is the price axis. This is the demand curve and this is the supply curve. And this is the equilibrium price. Sorry, I will use the another. This is the equilibrium quantity and this is the equilibrium price. Now, if these two demand and supply functions are given, then the producer surplus as we know is the area which is below the equilibrium price and above the supply function so this region is this region is producer surplus similarly consumer surplus will be the region which is above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve so this region represents the consumer surplus now, inshallah, in next videos, in subsequent videos, we will solve the numericals on finding the producer surplus and consumer surplus. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe and share. Thank you. Evala.